Morning guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. If you're new to the channel, we're currently in Scotland doing the NC500, a modified route. We've added lots of extra bits on and at the moment we're in an area called Glenelg and we're staying on Moyles campsite. I suggest that you check out last week's video for the review of this campsite because this campsite is fantastic. It's very peaceful and everything, so go and check it out. Now if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Done it? Excellent. Right, today's video, we're actually heading over to Fort William today and we're staying at a campsite over there. But let's get on the road and we'll tell you more about that when we're driving. So guys, as you can see, this campsite, the scenery, everything, absolutely fantastic we've got Danny in front of us now if you've not seen any of the previous videos we've done the NC 500 and our friends Danny and Charlotte and um, they joined on um, in their car with a rooftop tent about three days in was it three or yeah. four days in then we've got Graham and Sharon behind us in their Vauxhall camper van and um, they've done the whole tour of us so be certain to check out all the other videos so what's the campsite called today, Brooke, that we're going to? Glen no Nevis. Pressure. We're going to Glen Nevis, so we're going to Glen no, Nevis campsite. No, no pressure. No pressure. I, as you all know, I can that. never remember anything. So we'll show you some views on the way over there, and then when we get to the campsite, we'll show you what we get up to, some cooking and things like that. And just as we're leaving this campsite, just look at some of the views here that are like absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Right, let's get on the road. Right guys, we're in uh, Fort William now. Another lovely drive over here, just parked up there. Graham and Sharon coming up there. Brooke's just gonna go in the supermarket over there in a minute, so I'm just gonna take Thor for a quick stretch of his legs around here before we get to the campsite. Guys, we're set up in everything at the campsite. 
It's a nice campsite, this, isn't it? It's yeah. busy. Um, it's a lot busier than like the really campsites nice. that we've been used to, but it is nice so far. Um, if you have a look at like the views, got like all the mountains That's and everything. Nice. So, what we're going to do now? We're just going to go for a quick walk, take that little one, and he's see got what. Lots of energy. See, yeah, he's got lots of energy. I think over the past sort of like almost ten days, he's fitness levels have gone up because he's done so much walking so right we're coming out the campsite now so which way we're we going i can hear water down there so let's see what we find You know what guys, we've just been talking and we've just been saying like this is one of the reasons we love coming to different places because you know we've come up here haven't we and yeah. there's like loads of different walks and everything like, really we've peaceful. We've left that campsite what five minutes, ten minutes down the road and yeah, we found a yeah, track about 10 and minutes. it leads you to four different walks. <laughs> yeah four different walks and you know we've been walking down here for like ten minutes so we're ten minutes away from the campsite we've been walking about ten minutes along this track to show you in front of us but yeah, it's like we've not come across any other people or anything and he absolutely loves it. You love it, I love it. Explore. We love it. One life, live it. Just over one hour guys to get to this point. Amazing. Yes, said it so many things on so many like places we've been on this trip, but absolutely amazing. Just look, look at the views up there. Brook and Thor's over there. I think Thor's jumping in the stream to get a drink. You know what guys, we've been walking out for about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 25 minutes. We just keep going and going because every time we go a little bit higher, we're seeing views like this. Oh, so guys, about an hour and 40 minutes in, this is what we've found.
Guys, I know that you've just seen Brooke going down them steps, um, like, like sat down doing step at a time. But do you know what? You've got to hit that like button and subscribe button just for that because Brooke is terrified of heights. And we've obviously come all the way up here. And when we got to the top, like it's that sign that you've seen, what it's like that fort that's up there. I said to Brooke, it's really, really worth it to keep going and come up just to see them amazing views. So guys, I'm really, really like chuffed that you did that because she's never done that and she is terrified of heights. So please hit that like button and subscribe button to show support. Cheers guys. You know what guys, seriously, that you, if you're ever in Fort William, you need to come and visit um, that place. What I'll do is I'll put a link at, um, in the description below where I can't talk properly. We've been walking for about two or three hours, <laughs> haven't we? So have you calmed down a bit now? Yeah, I was really scared up there. You know what I'm like? I feel like I know, Bruce drops. is genuinely, genuinely <laughs> terrified of uh, heights, you know what I mean? Um, but what was you just saying? We always have to go what we stand by really isn't it? one life live one it life live so it. i mean the fact i that probably would have regretted if it hadn't gone up there but i, know. Well, I, well, I got didn't to the... really didn't want to go yeah. there at well, the same I, time. I got to the top and i said i was shouted over because it was like really about half a mile down i was like brooke i said you, please trust me you need to come up and everything she was like obviously she said she can't go up that hill because there's big drops and everything but you trusted me enough to know that if i was saying that because i know you're scared but then of heights. on the way down it I was really scared of coming back down because there was loads of drops and there was nothing to hold on to. If there was something to hold on to, I would have been absolutely no. fine, but there wasn't. And I, it was and really just to windy. Point out, just to point out, I did say, like, you know, I'll hold my hand and everything, take you down, but you was more comfortable doing Do it, it your way, own. sort of like coming down. Because so. he was like, I'll just walk on the bit at the side. I was like, you're going to give me more palpitations, you nearly falling over, than mm. me going down yeah. with my bum on the but steps. What but. an amazing day going up there. <laughs> Love it. Right. We're heading back to the campsite. It's about another hour and a half walk that way. If you turn the camera in, Brooke, and show them. So, the yeah, campsite's so now, all the way over there somewhere. All the way over there somewhere. So, yeah, so we're going to head back down there. And when we get down there, we're going to have some burgers, aren't we? So yes, because I am starving. We'll see when we get down there. Back at the camper van. Doing some cooking. And hopefully this isn't going to be a magic trip. There should be four under there, not like three with one stuck to the top of it. Yeah. <laughs> burgers. Nicely. Got next to you, keeping an eye on the burgers. So, cook these, and then we'll catch up with you then. A bit of a lot. Right hey guys, we've had food, we're all showered, cleaned, relaxed, it's dark outside now so we're just gonna have a bit of an earliest <laughs> night. Asleep after that long walk. I know, that long walk has really, really tired us out. Oh, I've just spotted yeah. though, we've got some donuts oh, down yeah, there. Donuts Ooh, so we're gonna have a, a quick snack with them um, and then it's probably gonna be an early night so we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Morning. So, as you can see, we're still at the campsite. Bit misty today. Danny, who was parked over here, he's actually gone now because he's heading off to somewhere completely different today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna give you a quick tour around the campsite. I'm gonna show you the toilet block. As you can see, this is quite a big campsite, not what we're really used to from what we've seen for the past few days. Oh, it's, it's peaceful, um, it's clean, the toilet block's clean, every time we've been in they've been clean, Michael, the shower blocks are separate from there, but I think for me personally, I would recommend this campsite, but me personally, if I think if I came back to Fort William, I think I'd look for a quieter one. Um, it's peaceful, it's just the... A smaller one. A smaller one, yeah. It's a bit kind of... There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Um, you, you know, there's 
which is fine, but it, it's just a personal. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent recommend it. It's just a personal choice. All the views. I mean, again, we woke up to views like up there and everything. And then that walk that we oh, did ben yesterday. Nevis. Yeah, Ben Nevis, and then obviously the walk we did yesterday was absolutely amazing. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of walks. Oh yeah, there's pl there's plenty to do around here. Like I said, I think you know it's just a personal thing for me. I like the smaller sort of like campsites and everything. So, right, that's it for today's video. We're actually on our last day today uh, of the NC500 modified route. Hope you've uh, been enjoying it so far. But we've got one more campsite to go. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Do it. Have they done it? Yeah. After yeah, I think they've just done it there. Press that like button. Done it. Did they do it? Yeah. I think you did that as well. So from me and Thor, who are just about to take for a walk, and me, and you, we're off to Oban. So stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye for now. Bye.